I did not mean to hit that. Hello, everyone. Um, it's me, Jared Gaming. Kind of back, I guess. Um, how has your day been? Has it been good? Has it been great? I guess I could tell you my day. I, for once in my life, actually got out of bed at 9 o'clock and stayed out of bed at 9 o'clock. That's that's actually kind of crazy, and then I decided. Well, I was I was, uh, I was gonna VC with all my friends because one of my friends asked if he wanted to VC with me. So then we ended up VCing for a total of like eleven hours, I think. And midway through, you know, I had my simple lunch, I had my simple dinner. I decided to you know work out and stuff, you know, exercise my body a bit, make sure I'm doing something with it, make sure it's not all. <laughs> And then I decided to also play a little bit of Left 4 Dead 2 because I've been on the grind of that very recently. Well, maybe not super recently, but you know. I've been playing the game a lot. And yeah, that was that's how my day has been. I think my day's been pretty good. It's been swell, you know, it's been nice. It's been pretty gamer. Let me ask you this. Was that part right there entertaining enough for you? Just just by chance, by proxy, by whatever. Was me explaining my day somehow en just enough for you for some sort of Jared Gaming content? You'll you probably know why I'm asking this because of the title of the video. But yeah. Recording is hard. Recording is actually pretty difficult. I definitely have a few reasons why I believe recording, especially nowadays, has become a lot more difficult for me, for everyone probably, and but well, most especially for me. <laughs> but I hope to explain somewhat shortly why I believe recording is extremely difficult. But before we get into that, we should probably uh, transition into some sort of game, you know? Maybe, uh, maybe, oh, what should we, <gasps> I got an idea, let's transition to some Mario Kart Double Dash. I've been playing a lot of that recently, so, yeah, let's transition right into that. Let me just, okay, before we get into the topic of the video, let me set up a guess of a scenario that you probably may have been in at least one or two times. So, for say you do something really interesting, weird, hilarious, funny even, every single thing that revolves around being funny, and then out of nowhere, your sibling, your friend, or whatever says, wow, that is so funny, yeah, I like what you're doing, let me just whip up my phone now and let me record you. What is usually your reaction when you get in that scenario? I'll tell you mine. I, more times than not, Resort to saying, ew, no, don't put me on the camera like that. Do not record me like that. I know that what you're recording is private, but do not record me like that. It doesn't feel nice, doesn't feel wanted, doesn't feel comfortable. I just don't feel, you know, kind of like, you know, in that mood, you know? I guess, in a sense, it is random when someone decides to pull out their phone and record you or pull out a camera and record you because they think, Oh, you're doing something very hilarious, I want to record this moment. It happens. And that's one of the reasons why I feel recording is hard. It's random. Just like life. Everything about it is random, including life. The reason why I say that it's a bit random is because it really, I guess, comes down to what's going on, you know? Sometimes, you know, maybe you're in the mood to do it. Maybe sometimes you're not. Or maybe sometimes a sibling breaks into your room and then tries to stop you from recording so you can spend time with them. Yes, that has happened to me before. Look at me in the eyes. Just break up the gameplay for one sec. Look at me in the eyes. I can promise you, this has happened at least three times, and I had to cut it out, or I left it in the video for some reason. More times than not, I've had to cut it out. Actually, three times sounds like a small number. It was probably more than that. Anyways, back to the gameplay. You never really know what life is gonna throw at you. You never really know what your mood is gonna make you wanna do, make you feel and just all that types of stuff. And I think another part of randomness is just how much time there is open to that randomness. And I'm not just talking about within the recording either, I'm talking about mostly outside of it. But, setting the randomness aside, that's another point as well, time. Time in my opinion also adds on to the difficulty of recording. The reason why I say this is because the more and more something sits, is the more and more you feel like 
you get this anxious feeling that you have to record it, and the moment you miss that day, the moment you just kinda can't get to it. There was this one quote that Maximilian Dude said about fighting games and getting into them in general that I kinda wanna use to apply recording things in general. The first best time to get into a game or to start recording was 20 years ago. The next best time is now, right now, as I am speaking, as I am verbally giving out my words, as someone is hearing this, one of you out there, I don't know who you are, but you were hearing this, as of this moment, this is the now, for me at least. You see a lot of YouTubers, I feel, take a break, and one of the things when they take a break is that they take a really long extensive break, or they take a really, really short break, and when I mean really short, I mean like maybe even just a day. Just a day, just a week, just two weeks. When I'm thinking of long, I'm thinking months, maybe even a whole year. But because of the time in between that has happened then and now, and also including the fact that a lot of things kind of stay trendy for what feels like not even that long of a time, really makes things feel like they're not worth getting time into anymore. And just like that time, has killed your urge to record that thing because it's either too late or there's no reason at all. And because of that, because of the amount of time you have to yourself, or the amount of time you have spending away from recording and all that types of stuff, then it leads into you have too much thought to yourself. And there have been many, many, many moments where because of what I've been thinking, what I've been feeling, that it's led to a lot of cancelled videos on my channel. Let me just give a random instance, for example. Luigi's Mansion. Three, at least. You probably have noticed I've only uploaded two videos of it. As a matter of fact, I actually had one one-hour footage that was planned to be split up so that it would be part three and four. The issue was, I had kept that footage for, I think it was all the way from December of 2019. Maybe even much earlier than that. All I know is that I kept that footage I think right before COVID, that fo that footage was I think like early January of 2020, and it was until just a bit ago that I decided, yeah, I'm gonna scrap this. I, I just can't hold this in my computer anymore. I'm not doing anything with it because I've just felt completely unmotivated from recording or editing that anymore. It's because of thought. Thought and emotions really influence the way you play video games. It's also the reason why it's really hard for me to play Smash recently, or it's also the reason why it's been really hard for me to play Splatoon. It's been really hard for me to do things that have actually made this channel my channel. It's because I really put so much thought into what I do. It's one of those things where it's like, you do so much of your job, that there's that one point of time that you sit down and think, am I really enjoying this job? Or was it at the moment? And to be fair, there are some people that do do what I am doing, or even other things I am doing, that they do enjoy it and they do indulge in it. They do just intake every single bit of it they can inhale or whatever. But it might have been just because of the time I spent away from YouTube and the time I tried an attempt to put into college and the time I spent outside of, you know, recording and I at least attempted to spend outside of social media somewhat. And I've been spending a lot more time with my friends on Discord it really led me to realizing that it's really hard to record when, again, it's random, I have too much time on my hands, and with the thought, it just kind of overlaps with it. And it leads into the, my other point. It's thanks to some of the old games that I play, for example, Mario Kart Double Dash, Beautiful Joe, or even the most recent game I decided to start grinding a lot recently, Left 4 Dead 2, it's kind of led me to realize that a lot of the recordings I do, even the ones that I'm super motivated to do, one way or another are forced, scripted, some sort of thing that is meant, one way or another, there is an A point and there's a B point. We don't know what's in between those, but all I know is that there's an A point and there's a B point and I already know what that's going to look like. I think another part of it is that I have to sit down to do something, and admittedly it's been really hard to sit down to do that one thing especially since I get bored of it really quickly. And it really doesn't help that YouTube in and of itself has this weird algorithm thing where it's really hard to switch things that you do. Per se, I really was a Smash YouTuber. 
If I were to out of nowhere switch to Left 4 Dead 2 because I felt like it, even if that was the only thing I was posting, I feel that it would take just as much time if not longer to grow up an audience as it did before because I have to grow a whole new audience of people that like what I am playing. And it's really hard to do that when I've had an existing audience that enjoyed me playing Smash, enjoyed me playing Splatoon, or maybe enjoyed me doing those animations that I did back then. It's because I forced myself to do that one way or another. And yeah, I absolutely felt willing to do it. And I will admit, I was even happy at some point that I was doing it. But just like the Gmod animations, at some point in time it felt forced and it just felt like I just can't keep going with it. I wanted to do something else and that's where I am right now. And in my opinion, I feel like the whole like, I feel forced to do something is one of the biggest reasons why you've been seeing a lot less of anything. You've been seeing a lack of content. And it's been really hard for me to upload consistently when I challenged myself to do that. I've already missed what I think is like three weeks now because admittedly part of that was because I went to Florida for a road, a road trip um, sometime after I released the uh, Minecraft Steve video in Smash. But another part of it is just that I couldn't get myself to sit down and record and then edit the things because I also put then again then I put so much thought into it that I'm just like, hmm, actually, was that really worth recording? Because it was forced. And then, when I put so much thought into that thing that felt forced, then I was like, well, is it worth, you know, uploading? Will it have some sort of thing? Or will it just be that it's too random that it doesn't feel necessary to the channel? It just feels like some sort of highlight that could have been taken off of Twitch, except it wasn't off of Twitch. It was just some random thing. It just repeats into a cycle. All the things I mentioned earlier just one way or another lap into each other. First it's random, or it has too much time, or I put too much thought into it, or I feel forced about it. And then one way or another, one leads to another, into another, and then eventually that video just never gets released. I've recorded multiple different Left 4 Dead 2 videos, and I have posted none so far. I've even went out of my way to make mods in Left 4 Dead 2. I've spent 440 hours in Left 4 Dead 2 as of me recording this video. And I just cannot get myself to just record it properly. I cannot get myself to post it, cannot get myself to do something about it. Because no matter what I do, no matter how I feel towards it, it feels forced. It feels random and it feels out of place. And then that leads into my other point. One of the other biggest reasons why it's so hard for me to record videos is because the world is changing. Or, I guess at least, the world has changed. And I'm not just talking about YouTube's algorithm and what they recommend to people has changed. I'm talking about people have changed. People and what they want to watch have changed. It's the same reason why reaction videos have simultaneously lived and died so quickly. It's because people are changing. People will always change no matter what. And it's something that no one can control. Yes, there will most certainly be a large amount of people that will watch something from one of your videos, but you can never have an extreme portion of people watch that one thing forever. Eventually, it will die down. Eventually, something will kill it. And more times than not, it's just the way that our world is changing. It becomes a lot more harder to please the people that you're trying to cater to, and then ultimately you realize that the, the amount of content that you could post that ultimately could probably lead to dire results will eventually, as I, can, as I can't speak, eventually just get to a point where it doesn't feel worth it. And again, that cycle just keeps repeating, it's too random, there's too much time put into it, into your thoughts and then you know thoughts come into time and then it, you realize that maybe it felt forced and then you once that cycle keeps going and then it tries to get into this other part where the world has changed or the world keeps changing that cycle never stops it's because of the world that's changing that ultimately keeps it repeating but wait jared i have uh why don't you just do um those videos like you did before you know like what? Uh, I don't know, like, what if you try reviewing old games and such? Y you know? 
Well, admittedly, I have put some thought into that. I have occasionally thought, well, maybe I should just do more reviews. Kind of like what I did with the uh, video essay of, well, what is it? The quick play of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And even did, like, some, like, video history editing thing and whatnot for my college classes and stuff. I've been thinking about doing more of that. Just my only issue was, again, the cycle. It just keeps repeating. But one of the benefits, I guess, of doing said stuff is that even though it may feel forced, at least there's no randomness to it. I know what I want to do for the most part. And at the bare bone minimum, at least time can, in some cases, make said video improve. If I'm doing some sort of review, some sort of video essay, some sort of thing, time and sometimes thought can sometimes even make it better. You start to want to add more things to it, you start to want to add more flavor, value, more endpoints, more outpoints, whatever. My only issue is that I would have to cater to a whole different level of audience since I think my channel has been kind of built on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So one way or another, I still have to sit down and play that game occasionally just so that I can get the core audience that I feel like I've been catering to. However, I actually bought this AV to HDMI adapter thing, and thanks to that, I think I might actually be able to try out some new things like stream, play, or like Neptune said, try reviewing older games I've played in the past, like the two that you were seeing, Beautiful Joe, Mario Kart, Double Dash, and probably so many more that I can think of. Now, obviously, I hope they end up being short and whatnot, but there's still ideas that pop that I feel like could be worth trying out. But at the end of the day, I have to actually get myself to do it. Maybe it might be worth it, maybe not, but maybe it might not be worth it, especially since the end result always changes. Hey, Jared. Oh my gosh, Neptune, stop scaring oh, me like uh, that. <laughs> Sorry, I keep scaring you, but why don't you just do YouTube shorts? Just do shorts? Yeah. Yeah, just, just, why don't you just do that? We'll see about that. We'll see. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless you.